Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am a Harvard trained medical, surgical, cosmetic dermatologist here in the Pacific Northwest. And today's video is gonna be awesome because we'll be talking about new sunscreens that I recently discovered that I'm really impressed by. And they're great picks for when I go to Hawaii or when I'm here hanging out in Seattle summer, which only lasts for like a month and a half, seriously. But it's the most perfect summer ever. It's like perfect weather every day. But thank you so much much to Bellevue Lifestyle Magazine and Kirkland Lifestyle Magazine for featuring my family and I in your doctor's edition. Just want to show you really quickly. The docs are in peace here and they have us here at the front of the article. Best fatherhood advice you've received is what they asked. And I said, my father told me growing up that it is impossible to have a bad day two days in a row. I want to pass that on to my kids. So growing up, I thought it really was impossible. My dad really said that. He's like, you know what? When I was really young, he's like, Daniel, when I had a bad day, he's like, you know, there's no way tomorrow's gonna be a bad day. So every time I had a bad day, I knew I'd bounce back and somehow the universe would play out that I'd have a better day. And whether it was the universe luckily playing things out or actually in my mind, I made things better. Who knows, but it worked out really well. And we all form our own realities based on how we think. We are what we think about. And so dad taught me that at an early age. So I got to talk to my kids about controlling their thoughts, controlling the way we think, forming our own realities. To this date, I can say I've never had two bad days in a row. So I hope that, that helps you guys in living your day-to-day -day lives. But today, going back to sunscreen, let's jump into that. Let's get into the sunscreen stash in my office. All right, back in my office, let's talk about some sunscreens this summer. So the big reason why we're wearing sunscreen, the ultimate reason is to protect our skin from UV radiation. And when UV hits our skin, whether UVA or UVB, it causes these thymine lesions, these thymine dimers to form, where the thymine in our DNA will link up, kink the DNA, and cause a lesion. And if our skin isn't fast enough in snipping those out, we will get skin cancer, whether basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, or malignant melanoma, which is the most serious skin cancer up there with Merkel cell carcinoma, which is also related to UV radiation. So all these sunscreens we talk about, I want an SPF 30 and above. In the summertime, I'm going to consider one with water resistance, unless you're just going to go for a walk or not get sweaty, go to the office. But if you're going to go jump in the pool, do a water resistant sunscreen and reapply every hour when you're doing a water resistant sunscreen. And just a quick little plug. I got this from La Roche Posay, this little shot glass slash mini beach bucket. This is to show you need a shot glass amount of sunscreen to expose areas of your body. That's appropriate. One shot glass. No, it's not ranch dressing. We're eating lunch and had pizza that day. And I, in my mind, I was like, remind myself, don't dip my pizza in this. It totally made me think it was ranch at first. But anyways, that's a nice illustration of that amount for exposed areas of your body. And for your face, your face and neck are only exposed. It's a half teaspoon amount for your ears, face and neck. Don't forget the back of your neck because that is an area where I find a lot of skin cancer. Now I've used a few in Hawaii in the last few months and I wanted to test it on my kids, especially the one that, that has a white cast. It's the Cetaphil SPF 50. If you have kids, you're a parent like myself, you might want to use those white casting sunscreens for your kids because I don't want to use them on my face. I could use them on my body, but it doesn't matter for your kids. I like it when, it, when you apply a sunscreen that's thick. Usually they're zinc based or titanium and zinc for your kids because one, you can tell if you missed a spot two, they look really cute. Three, kids don't care. And a lot of times these really thick ones are water resistant and they are mineral based. And I like to use mineral based sunscreens for my kids because yes, we do know that chemical sunscreens do get absorbed into our bloodstream. And right now we don't know of anything bad right now, um, what happens, but I just feel a little better using the chemical sunscreens for my kids. For myself, I use hybrid sunscreens with both chemical based and mineral based sunscreens, chemical only, and then also mineral based. So this one is titanium and zinc oxide. This is really nice, not irritating, it's water resistant 80 minutes. So we use this a lot when we went to the pool and beach in Hawaii. Fragrance free as vitamin E contains prebiotics, microbiome, gentle SPF 50. So I'm just going to show you how thick it is. It's like a thick paste there and it goes on with a cast and you can feel that film. It lets you know that it's there. There's a presence to it. We can't talk about sunscreen without bringing up Elta MD. Great sunscreen brand. I think probably just the leader in sunscreen. Elta MD does a great job. This one I want to do a dedicated YouTube video on UV Restore, but just letting you know this is a nice alternative to the UV element. UV elements has been a favorite in my office. A lot of my medical assistants and nurses do love the UV elements because it's very nice tinted, thicker sunscreen that almost like it's a nice BB cream like 
texture and finish where it will hide some blemishes. The UV Restore here is also tinted and it's mineral based like the UV elements. This one's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. This one is not water resistant. It usually says water resistance on the front. If it is, this one is not, but this is nice for older individuals, people in their 30s and up who want to work on sun damaged skin, sun freckles, hyperpigmentation. This also has saccharide isomerate, which works with squalene to help increase skin hydration, helps with evening out skin complexion and tone. And this also has ginger root extract, which has antioxidant properties, also help work on those dark spots. If you have melasma, this is a great sunscreen. It also has a vitamin C derivative and also vitamin E, which is great. So all those antioxidants will play, will work together in lightening those dark spots. So the texture of this is on point. I like how it is tinted, mineral base, but it does blend in quite nicely and quick. So it doesn't have obviously a white cast because it's tinted. Not thick like the elements, which I have no problem with, but this is just a nice compromise. If you want something not as thick as the UV glow, which really gets me thinking, why did Elta do that? Um, and then we got the UV elements, which is, you know, this is probably thinner than the UV elements. So actually it's not as thick as the UV glow and maybe probably not as thick as the elements. So I like this, it's lightweight. I just put on just a like little quadrant on my face here. Blends in very nicely. So mirror Murad's also a nice brand. You gotta pay a little bit more for this. I've liked their Environmental Shield Cream. That's tinted, has a slight tint to it, but has a lot of like nice antioxidant properties. This one also has antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, and the vitamin C in this is actually ascorbic acid. I don't know the percentage of the ascorbic acid in this, but this also has shea butter, it has jojoba seed oil, and also has glycerin, which is hydrating, and also niacinamide, which helps brighten the skin. So nice to have niacinamide. If you have acne prone skin, niacinamide is nice in your skincare. Squall is in this as well. It also has a little bit of retinol palmitate, retinol, which is not as potent as retinol or retinol. So interesting that it has this. I think the other, maybe the other one does have retinol in it, but this one is in a dropper bottle. Reminds me of Zitstika's Mega Shade sunscreen, but that one is a uh, chemical-based sunscreen. This one is a purely mineral-based. This one is zinc oxide only. Water-resistant 40 minutes. So it's in a dropper bottle, so different like a serum but this goes on at the end of your routine, not like a serum where it goes on in the middle of the routine, okay? Put a little bit on the back of my hand here. This is lightweight, feels nice. Let me see if there's any white cast. So I put a little bit on my cheek here. Yeah, that rubs in very well. I also got back from Hawaii. I'm not, I didn't get a tan, so my sun protection game was on point. I did use that sun shield by Bluestone, I think it's called. That worked out really well when I went to play golf. So um, I know it looks kind of crazy. I look like a Robocop, but I had no tan after Hawaii. I had a great trip. So yeah, that's a nice one to consider, but you are gonna pay the price for Murad's products. Uh, you find this at Sephora. This one is one fluid ounce as well. So when it comes to your sunscreen and a dropper, make sure to put enough on as well. The same principle of half teaspoon amount applies. So if you're putting that on your face and neck, you're gonna burn through it kind of quick. Vanity Cream, very nice brand, underrated. So great for those with sensitive skin. It has no fragrance, no dyes, no parabens, and all the lanolin and stuff that could cause issues and sensitivities in people. This one doesn't mention if it's water resistant, but this is only zinc oxide. And they had a previous one, the Sport, that one left a white cast, but very gentle. This one, only zinc oxide, but let's talk about how this one is, does a pretty good job at being mineral base but somehow keeps it lightweight, which I like a lot. So for skin of color, if you have sensitive skin, I think you'd do okay with this. How's that on the forehead? I think good. So I am very impressed with Vanacream. Facial Moisturizer SPF 30 is a winner. So congrats Vanacream on that. And then pair it with, if you wanna protect your lips, you can do Elta MD's Lip Protection or Vanacream has a lip protectant sunscreen here. This one's SPF 30 and water resistant. So if you're on the golf course, consider this one that has titanium and zinc oxide and some dimethyl the cone. These lips are all natural and probably require a lot more sunscreen than the average person. I know some people worry about the taste. Don't get it in your mouth. Like you're saying on the outside, it's good. So very good sunscreen here for your lips to consider. And then I'll also put a picture of the Elta MD lip sunscreen as well on the side there you can consider. Now Coats, I did a video on probably at the beginning of uh, my channel. This is one of the first sunscreens I reviewed on my Dr. Sugai review series. And then this one I wanted to try out. Um, someone had mentioned their tinted S SPF 40. Comes in a nice 1.5 fluid ounce bottle. Very cute and portable here. And it is water resistant 80 minutes. Sheer matte finish, only mineral based. And I like that their other one that was not tinted, it was all mineral, but very sheer and lightweight. Now let's talk about this one. Ooh, it comes out almost like the Super Goop 
matte screen, much cheaper than the Super Goop matte screen. Let's put this on my nose. I think this fits my skin tone very well. If you wanted to hide some blemishes, this probably does the job too. Great matte finish there. So if you want to hide your pores, go with something like the Super Goop matte screen or something like this with that matte finish. I like coats that just doesn't have a lot of the fancy stuff in it. And so it's affordable. You find that on Amazon. I bought this with my own money from Amazon. So this is nice if you want to go out to the pool, have something water resistant, but also tint. If you have melasma, I like tint a lot because the iron oxides will help block the visible light spectrum from the sunlight that can cause oxidative stress, thus worsening your hyperpigmentation and melasma. So this one's another nice option this summer. Good job, Coats. Now, I like the French brand Aven a lot, but I just wanted to caution that. And so I like their Solaire UV non-tinted sunscreen quite a bit. It's really nice, very portable, but I just want to mention that they're tinted sunscreen though. I don't know what's going on here. It's a very dark tint and it's pretty intense where it actually permanently stained my brand new t-shirt in Hawaii, which I was pretty sad about. But the non-tinted version of this is beautiful. It's very elegant, lightweight, and also just mineral based. The brand Taizo, I was exposed to in residency for the first time and I really like this sunscreen, but I haven't got my hands on a bottle of this until recently because this is a nice tinted sunscreen option. This one is water resistant, 80 minutes, SPF 40, very similar to Coats in that that it is gonna be matte, it's gonna have a sheer matte finish. 1.75 fluid ounces, so a little bigger, but the price difference is noticeable. I'll put the price for this down below. They put the PA, grade is PA3+, plus, which is the UVA protection, so four is the most. Three plus is a good uh, and adequate for UVA protection. This is coming from the Japanese PA rating. So the Japanese came up with the PA rating, four plus being the most UVA protection and UVA not only causes skin cancer, but also aging, photo aging. So the dark spots, white spots, red spots, then also causes collagen degradation. So let's put this on. I'm so glad to see this back again in my regimen and it just comes out really nice, but this goes on really nice. So if you want to hide some blemishes, hyperpigmentation, if you have melasma, this one is a really nice option. Other ingredients in this, it has vitamin C, vitamin E. So we have the antioxidants in this guy. So if you're skin of color, great options here. We got the Taizo and the coats. Now, uh, I did mention this in the other video here. You have Isden, this is a nice sunscreen here. And this has Aerophotona actinica. Aerophotona actinica is a nice ingredient in your sunscreens to help with DNA repair. And we talked about those thymine lesions, thymine dimer lesions earlier in this video. And so this sunscreen, this line here, will use this well-studied ingredient that does help with DNA repair. If you have no DNA repair capabilities, you have this condition called xeroderma pigmentosa, which is a very unfortunate case where you're gonna have kids, these young individuals with skin cancers and premature development of sun damaged skin manifesting as brown spots, lots of freckles. They can get glaucoma, cataracts. They can get cataract formation at a much earlier age. And so they found that the Aerophotona actinica when you give that to these individuals, it might help slow down the development of these pre-skin cancerous to skin cancerous lesions. They come with a tinted version or a non-tinted version and they're zinc-based, water resistant. The smell is a little bit, smells, reminds you of like bathroom soap. Besides the smell, I think it's a great sunscreen. I take that to Hawaii big time. And I like that it is in a big 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. So don't let the, the price point scare you because it's actually, it seems like double the price, but the size is double. All right, guys, so I hope this video was helpful. Hope you guys find some good sunscreen picks this summer. Thank you all for um, having fun here and the great thoughtful comments. And um, I'll see you guys for the next video. All right, guys, take care and peace.